Hi, in this video I want to discuss something that I wrote in my notes that I don't really remember what I was saying in the, in the point, but it's learning is no compensation. And I, if, the, if I'm reading this right, um, I made these notes a couple weeks ago. Um, yeah, I'm sorry I haven't been making many videos in, lately. But regardless, learning is no compensation. It's the basic same idea. Um, learning, I think I even mentioned this in the same, the similar idea that I mentioned before. And that's learning doesn't change the fact. No, there's no compensation for the mistakes you made in the past. Sometimes I think I make a lot of these notes at the same time, or I separate them so much that I don't realize I made two of the same subject and just word them a little differently. But yeah, learning is no compensation. You'll learn a lesson. Um, you learn. You interact. It's you know just assuming you learn a lesson. Um, Learning is no compensation. The same mistake can happen again. You're going to be a victim of another circumstance. Um, be a victim of another circumstance. Um, um, you know, learning sometimes doesn't fix anything because you're still something that still happened to you. you know, uh, generally speaking, most of these things that you have are beyond your control. So it doesn't matter how much you learn a lesson. It doesn't matter how much you learn to drive well or uh, not stub your toe. It's going to happen in many circumstances. Um, you know, sort of like say using the hypothetical thought experiment of if you live forever, you, if something bad would eventually happen to you. You'd eventually, everything would eventually happen to you that could possibly happen to you. Um, and I guess the comparison I want to make is learning is no compensation because something will eventually happen to you again. The possibility is always there, even if it's been decreased because you learned a lesson on your part. Doesn't mean the reality around you is going to change. You can do your best to avoid something from happening to you, but that doesn't change the fact that it could still happen again. Um, and learning doesn't change the fact, not only in that way, that it can happen again. You know, obviously, albeit less and more less likely, but it can doesn't change the fact that you had to learn your lesson to begin with. Character building, learning lessons, um, changing the past determinism. I mean, this is the same subject I've gone over over and over again. Um, but it's, you know, it needs a lot of clarification, something that you need to reiterate from time to time, I guess, in a video, just word it a little differently, I guess. Um, but, yeah, the basic idea is learning is no compensation for future mistakes and past mistakes, because you learn a lesson, but the lesson almost seems kind of pointless when you're learning a lesson for it to happen again, and all you're doing is avoiding a negative that could have happened, um, a little bit more because you learned a lesson it's happening a little slightly less or it's happening to a slightly lesser degree than it would have happened before so yeah you're learning your lesson but it doesn't really lead anywhere but avoiding the pain a little more and it doesn't change the fact that you had to learn the lesson to begin with whatever it took to learn the lesson make a mistake once it could have been a severe mistake and usually the first time can be the worst time sort of like Monday is no fun day but the worst time is the first time in many circumstances, or the second time, the day after you have an illness, it's the, it's the, it's the, it's the second day. It's, you get the, the illness on a Monday, Tuesday's the worst day, and Wednesday it's kind of like Monday, and it keeps going down from there. You know what they say, that same old cliche they say. But regardless of that, yes, um, the worst time's the first time, whatever that may mean. Regardless of that, it's kind of pointless, sort of like making a comparison of what's causing pain and the feeling. What's causing the feeling and the feeling. Um, you know, what's causing the feeling and the feeling and the interaction. What am I talking about? I lose track of my thoughts so easily. Anyway, yeah, um, and learning the lesson. Um, ah, anyway, I, so, um, what was I saying? Um, yeah, anyway, <laughs> Um, yeah, but learning is no compensation for the the past, and is no compensation for something that what if it's going to happen. So there's no only so much you can do to change, um, and your only the only thing you're doing is avoiding further future pain as best you can. So there's only so much you can do in avoiding these negative circumstances of reality. You can only change them so much. Um, uh, 
So yeah, I guess that's all I want to mean. I don't know if I was going anywhere about a minute ago, and I just kind of lost track of what I was saying. But that happens. I mean, there's only so much I can do. And making up for the videos I make. But anyway, it's a basic subject. I've gone over this before. Yeah, learning is no compensation for past mistakes. Um, the worst time is the first time. That's what I was saying. Yeah, and the worst time is the first time. And you usually have to make the mistake at least once for you to learn the mistake. And sometimes you don't learn the mistake ever. You learn um, from the mistake, and you make, keep making the same mistakes. And it always begs the question, why are you doing anything if you're just going to keep on going through a negative experience? I mean, you're not learning your mistake, but you're obviously stupid enough to keep falling forward again and again, so obviously you must be some kind of hedonist, continually getting some kind of sexually transmitted disease, and you're never learning a lesson, right? One of those circumstances. You know, the satisfaction beforehand, it's almost like the rationalization thing. Um, they don't think about it, even though the negative was much worse than the positive. It's because a person keeps falling for you know, a, a positive that wasn't worth the negative that they keep making the same mistake for. Say they keep having sex unprotected, and they keep getting some kind of horrible STD. Even though the STD was worse, doesn't mean they can't keep making the same mistake. They can make the same mistake. They just, they, oh, it's in the past. I forgot. Just because it was worse, the negative was worse than the positive or the satisfaction that you got out of it. Um, obviously, um, satisfaction came first. Um, so you lose track of it, and you want the satisfaction again, I guess. You disconnect yourself from it, I suppose. Um, but yeah, you distance yourself enough from the, the um, negative or whatever it may be. And then, um, so yeah, just because a person can make a mistake over and over again doesn't mean that positive, the negative you get out of a positive or the, the satisfaction is worth it. It just means that you're almost in a way rationalizing this thing in the past. I forgot kind of how bad it was. I remember how good it was, um, even though the bad lasted longer and was much worse. The fact that it's a negative made it more valuable than the positive. And the only positive that has any value is your comfort and your contentment more than anything. You're just satisfying, and that's the thing. Yes, the thing is, is the pain you got in the end was based on satisfying a negative anyway. So even if it was, you know, it's your what you get, you keep making the same mistake to um and going um, risking the same mistake to have a negative. But also the thing that you're basing it on of is attention. So gratifying your sexual desires, attention that you're having that's satisfying attention, a negative in you that you need to satisfy. So regardless, it's satisfying a negative either way, and you realize that. So there's no way to avoid it. I mean, just because, you know, in going back to the same thing, just because it's a, um, just because the same part, the person make, keeps making the same mistake, doesn't mean that um, the mistake wasn't the, the negative that you experienced from that is not um, and more valuable, was more painful than the satisfaction you got out of it. But then again, you're going through a negative to get a satisfaction to go through a negative. Um, so in the end, it's just satisfying a negative and experiencing a negative. So regardless of if I only remember the positive, I only remember the orgasm I got when I was fucking the bitch, right? Fucking the, that pretty, pretty lady. But then again, yes, but you're still just satisfying your sexual tensions in the end, so it doesn't really matter in the end. You're always satisfying some kind of negative thing at the very least, if not completely avoiding it or trying to get rid of it. So, I mean, that's what you're doing, satisfying it. Tension, getting rid of some kind of pain, um, or avoiding some kind of pain by preventing it and learning your lesson and moving on. So, regardless, you're still playing the game. It doesn't matter what perception you have or what you want to believe. It's the truth, it's the fact of reality, and it's not going to change for you or anyone else. So, you know, I mean, at least you can be comfor comfortable in that thought and that it's not going to change for you uh, and anyone else. You know, it's not going to change for you, but it's not going to change for anyone else. Either. It's just going to be a little more or less for this person than that person. And just because it's that doesn't mean we can't at least fundamentally relate on uh, some fundamental level, um, on some point on the chart that we can all say we overlap on, that we can understand the feelings of someone else at least to a general idea or degree. Because the feelings are exactly the same in every individual. It's just a matter of if they're feeling the exact same thing. You have a headache that's the exact same as their headache, you're feeling the exact same thing. Um, it's just, they can be, and if it's not the exact same thing, they're feeling a worse headache. Or their tolerance is better, or their, their um, 
threshold is more, whatever it may be. Well, it's about the pain you experience in the end. So they can experience more pain, but it's the same headache based on the value that you have, based on your negative sensation that you experience. Not necessarily on the headache itself, but the experience you're experiencing, the pain level. You have the exact same headache, but feel something differently physically. But then again, yeah, it's not the same value. You can, because this person has a different threshold or pain or experience or whatever it is, it's going to take more of that, but it's still a headache, and it's about the value. If it's the same in you and as in them, it's the same as you as in them. It's sort of like the sun on this thing, like I mentioned, would be one thing. It's the same. It's the same. The same equals the same. Might as well just say, say, mm, uh, it's the same thing. It's synonymous, pretty much. With the same idea. So, yeah. Learning is no compensation. So, yeah. That's all I want to mention. <laughs> so, um, I don't want to go on too much longer. I made my point clear enough, I think. So, yeah. Um, Thank you. Until next time, bye.